My name is Angela Frazier and I live in Houston, Texas. I currently work at Houston Methodist Hospital and in addition to that I do speaking engagements around mental health, suicide prevention, and domestic violence awareness. So my mom, Tammy Best, she grew up in uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, she grew up in this home that we're in right now um, um, on Morris Street. She was always very um, lively, very ener energetic, um, extremely social. Life of the party is kind of how we, how we describe her. My mom had me um, when she was 18 years old. She was a senior at grad high school. Uh, she was a young mom. Uh, but she always talked about that was like the turning point in her life, that that was uh, what really gave her like that motivation and that uh, dedication, just kind of gave her that feeling of like this is her purpose in life, was to be a mother. So I started with Bradley Angle in 2015 working as the Grants and Communications Coordinator. Um, so I remember one day I actually went to, um, in the uh, deputy director's office and uh, I just said like I really need to talk to someone um, and, and she was like yes please close the door and I just kind of went to her and said you know my mom is I'm pretty sure she's in an abusive relationship and I don't really know how to talk to her. She didn't want to, want to tell me who she was involved with and um, that she was uh, kind of kind of in, in a kind of scared. I was actually at Bradley Angle the day that my mom, that I got the news that my mom had passed. Um, it was April 2016. I received a phone call. I, I knew right away because I tried to contact her the last few days and I hadn't heard from her. They determined that um, it was a self-inflicted wound. This is what she felt was the only escape from from this abusive relationship. Um, the impact I feel like it really had on me is just, um, it, it, it was just, it was heartbreaking. Could, could I have done more? Um, would things have changed if this or this happened? Um, so just uh, really, really challenging time, I would say. So Bradley Angle's support at the time of my mom's passing was like no other support, I, I mean, um, I still smile when I, when I think about it, that uh, their support was phenomenal from the amount of time that I took off of work. Um, I took it an extended time, not because I had an extended amount of PTO, but because Bradley Angle employees donated their PTO to me. Um, at my mom's service, the executive director, development director, and a few board members at the time attended her service. Um, they had never met my mom. This was just in pure support of her story and who she was. In 2016, the Tammy Best Shelter was opened. When I got the phone call for um, that the shelter would be named in my mom's honor, it was um, surreal. I feel like it gave me purpose uh, because I was really, I was really down, and I was, um, I feel like my mental health was really taking a toll. Um, so it, 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 I can almost say that it probably like saved, saved my life a bit. It, it's giving me purpose every year. I do a yearly Mother's Day event with, uh, for the women at the shelter. Uh, we create these really big gift baskets. But what I have wanted to get my mom this year for Mother's Day, so it's, it's a special feeling. It really softens up that holiday for me. Uh, losing my mom is what has inspired me to dive into um, domestic violence, advocacy, mental health, and suicide prevention. I hope that no one goes through this, this experience um, feels the, the type of pain that uh, myself and my family has felt. She instilled strength, um, resilience, um, humor, uh, just all around, um, just to be like a, a good person and, and also a, a good friend.